Happy Easter, everyone. I'm Father Enrique Salvo, Rector of St. Patrick's Cathedral. Today we will be talking about the meaning of new life. We have come to this season of Easter, a season which we often call a time of new life. And it is because the Lord is risen indeed, and He has brought new life into the world by His resurrection. But many times when we say things like that, that this is a time of new life, or even in Christmas, for example, we say, may Jesus be born in your heart. Sometimes we may take those words as something beautiful, poetic, like a pious thing to say, but we sometimes dismiss it because we don't put too much thought in what this means. We don't really deconstruct it. And so therefore, many times we just see it as, okay, it's a season of new life. When in reality, it's the most concrete and the realest thing that can happen and the most powerful thing. It is something that is extremely real. Jesus Christ died on the cross, resurrected, so that we may all have new life. And what does that mean? It is the transformation of our lives. It is the transformation of our soul that is the new life that He is offering us. Remember, our soul is made up of our mind and our hearts, our spiritual hearts. And for example, when it comes to our mind, we hear throughout the scriptures, like when St. Paul says, to work towards the renewal of the mind, the purification of the mind. What does that mean? So many times we are so filled with anxieties or we're always constantly perhaps thinking bad thoughts about others or, or situations. Maybe we just don't let go of certain things that bother us. Maybe we're always focusing on what's wrong instead of having minds that are purified in which we only think about the things of God, the things that are good, the things that are truth, the things that are beautiful. And our hearts, just like the prophet Ezekiel says, I want to turn your hearts from a heart of stone into a heart of flesh. And that is also something that needs renewal. So many times our hearts can become filled with hatred or, or anger or jealousy or resentment. So, and, and, and we're not giving love as we're called to do. And we need our Lord to renew that in us. We need Him to renew our hearts so that may be filled instead with His love with his life and with all of the ways in which love comes into the world. And how does that happen? We are renewed by the gifts of Easter, the gifts that the risen Christ offers all of his disciples. He offers each and every one of us his gift of peace, peace be with you, his gift of mercy, his gift of the Holy Spirit, the gift of the Holy Spirit, which is his own love. If we allow that to come into our lives, if we give him permission with our trust, he will renew us. We don't, he won't force it upon us, but he will renew us. And then what we think, how we love changes. And guess what happened? We also pray to the Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, come and renew the face of the earth. That happens when each and every one of us is renewed. That's one more person that is adding light and truth and goodness and beauty into the world. And one by one, heart by heart, mind by mind, soul by soul, comes the renewal of the world that the risen Christ wants to offer us, the good news that he is giving us. It is up to us to take the invitation, of course. So let us take it. Let us trust in this as he tells us to. Let us thank him for this gift. And when we hear this is a time of renewal, let's take it extremely serious because indeed it is. God bless you.